Here's another sewing tip from Brothersews.com. When you're sewing with knits, to have a professional hem, often you need a cover stitch machine. And in the back, it has a nice stitch like this that stretches and doesn't rip. And on the front side of the hem, you end up with two rows of stitching. Well, what if you don't have a cover stitch machine? You can do this with your sewing machine. Grab a twin needle, they come in various sizes, and they're for stretch fabric. Change your needle to a twin needle, but before you do that, you need to go to your screen, change it to a twin needle. That's what this is right here. If your machine doesn't have this, don't worry, just make sure that your machine will stitch for a zigzag and you'll be fine. But this makes sure when that twin needle's hit, you can't choose any other stitches. So we have that, now here's the trick. Lengthen the stitch to 4.0, then it looks more professional. Okay, that's part of it. Now go back here and change your needle. Take out your old needle. And the twin needle has two needles. Again, the back is flat and the front is curved. Slide that into place. Make sure it's in there nice and tight. The other thing you need to check, and I'm gonna remove the foot here so you can see, that you're using the correct needle plate. The needle plate has to be where you could do a zigzag stitch. If you're using the one with the single hole, you're gonna have metal flying as soon as your presser foot goes down. So make sure you have that needle plate. The other thing is on your foot, make sure you're using the one that has enough room for both of those needles to go through. All right, we're almost ready to go. Now we're gonna thread this with two spools of thread. So up here I have two spools of thread. I'm using different colors so you can see what happens here. Take them both in your hand, just like this. I give it a little twist to make sure they stay together. And then just thread your machine with both spools of thread at the same time. I know it seems kind of weird. There you go. Bring it down through here. So you're going to thread one thread through the right side and one thread through the left side, which I have finished here. And you're ready to stitch. I'm gonna stitch this right next to the other one so you can see what the end result is. Stitch. Stitch. The longer stitch length really makes this look like a professional hem on the front side. Let's see what the back looks like. So there's the front. Again, you can stretch it just fine without breaking. And there's the back. That's why I use two different color threads so you can see. So there's one bobbin thread and two threads on the top. It stretches, looks professional, and you can use that for hemming any t-shirts.